Hello. It's been a while. Um, hello to anyone new hanging out with me today. I'm happy you are here. Um, I have a few things to show you. I have my hair everywhere. So first, um, giveaway winnings. For Z, she was doing the just festive feel shawl for her birthday. And um, you submitted pictures of your entries and stuff. And then she did a, uh, not a random picker, but her son picked out the winners. And I was one of them. And I won Crochet Luna buttons. And I got them a few days ago. The first one says, Yo hablo crochet, which means I speak crochet. Yes, that is my second language, if not maybe my first. <laughs> anyway, it comes with tea. These are so cute how she did this. This is adorable. Uh, uh, super mint, yummy. The next one is in my favorite color as well. Happiness is crochet. And uh, yes, it is. And that is, it has chamomile in this one. That's another yummy. The other one says, Sana, sana, colita de rana. <laughs> to translate this, it will not make sense. But this is a saying my grandmother would always say to us whenever we got hurt. And uh, she'd go, Sana, sana, colita de rana. And there's a, a more saying to that. But anyway, that's cute. And I love that. So that's why I got that. It made me think of my of my mommy Lupe and the tea in the back is cinnamon apple which I will have to give to my papa because I'm allergic to cinnamon I cannot drink it eat it smell it and the other one because I do love my Star Wars we all do is may the fourth be with you <laughs> and I think this other this may also be uh, cinnamon in it because it's holiday chai so I'm pretty sure there's cinnamon in that and then uh, Veronica with Steals the Show Crochet. I won one of her. Well, it wasn't really a giveaway per se. Um, and I'm not sure if this is on one of her lives where she does uh, a number game. And her son Alex, who's adorable, um, writes down a number and then you have to guess. So everybody's in there punching numbers. And well, I guessed one of the numbers and these are cute. Got a little puppy paw, a doggy bone, and this little charm here says love. Let me see. There you go. There you go. So these are cute. I got those. And then, um, oh, and this, this was in my card with my buttons from Crochet Luna. And then I got tea from my sister in Christ Kelly. <laughs> Whom I love so much and I got this cute little card in there so and before I show the makes I didn't make this I bought this from Ella no cashy name I've always wanted to make a turtle I'm horrible at it amigurumis but I kept saying I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I'm gonna try because they're so cute but then she, uh, I'm still going to try, but, <laughs> but this is satisfying my turtle wantings because um, she put this cute little, little girl for sale. She is a girl. Her name is She-Hawk. And uh, I had to grab it. I did. I love the bottom. I love how she used everything. She's adorable. I love it. I love my little She-Hawk. Okay, so now I will show you some makes. Um, I wanna say about three weeks ago, Jeanette from DOY Creations shared a cowl she made with fringe, just a, some fringe at the front and um, mine's a little bald, it looks bald. <laughs> but anyway, it starts from here in the center and then it goes around here. So it's just like right here. And I think the reason mine doesn't look full like hers is because I used a thin yarn. This is a very thin yarn. <laughs> and so I was thinking of separating, actually, 
to make it look more fluffy. <laughs> but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother I still like it. And I'm not a French person. I don't like French. But I thought that her cow looked so cute like that. Just just bunched up like that. Because to me, this is it's not to keep me warm. Obviously, I did it in, in a mesh. But it just just to wear, you know, just a little um, accessory for decor. Not really for warmth. Um, but anyway, I like it. And uh, I will link the video where she shows hers. That way you could see hers and it's all this fullness. Um, let's see. Another thing I made was cowls. And I know this looks like a headband, but it is not. It's a cowl, and the reason why I did that is because I don't like all this bunched up in the back. So in the back, it'll look like this. You know, it's not all bunched up. But up here it is, you know, and it'll keep you warm. This one's a little taller. I made another one. In this color this is a real teal I don't know what this is it's got teal in it but I don't know the name of it because it was given to me and it didn't have a ball band and this one's a little bit shorter and then I made a hat I used the rest of that other, the unknown yarn here for the little um, brim. And then they can either buy it like this, like this, or all three and switch it up. And then I made a tree skirt. I've been making a tree skirt for the last three years. And... I would always get too lazy to do that, <laughs> but I finally made one. It's not very big, not very big at all, but I didn't want a big old tree skirt anyway. I just wanted something small to give it a little bit of a pop on the tree, and that's it. The one I'm excited about, my poncho. My poncho top is what I call it. I don't, I don't know. I got inspired by Pinterest. If I'm able to link uh, the Pinterest uh, whatever for the inspiration that I got, I will do that. But let's see. I'll put it on. It fits more like a sarape type like poncho, you know, like cowboys used to wear. Anyway, so it goes down to my wrist when I wear it this way, okay? And this is like this long. It's just above my knees. <laughs> okay, so I could wear it this way or I could turn it to the side and wear it this way and then you got a v-shape thing going here and then you got the uh, rows going this way and down here it goes down almost down my fingertips so you're well hidden when you're walking outside so I am really happy about this one I love it. I love the color. The one that I saw on Pinterest, she had a multicolor one, which is nice, but I love this color here. So that's why I did it all in this color. It's a uh, pumpkin, and I think it is um, something butter. I can't remember. <laughs> 
but um, it's mohair, butter mohair, something like that. I should have the tag, but I don't. Anyway, and that is it. That is it. I finished this, I don't know, a few days ago. My tree skirt I finished um, this afternoon. Yeah, I was watching the Crafty Nomad do her, um, showing her Christmas cards. I enjoyed that. So I finished it off while watching that. These I finished, um, a few days ago. Yeah. Now, the stitches I used for this were the moss stitch, the cross stitch, or crisscross, whatever. I used the hag stitch. I used the bumpy cross stitch. It's not called the bumpy cross stitch. It's called the bumpy stitch. But when I looked up this particular stitch that I saw, well, it, the name of it was the bumpy stitch. And then all these things came up. And I saw this particular one that I liked. And the way it is worked is like the moss stitch, except they added something to it. I can't remember. If I can find where I got it from, I will link it. But um, it just gave a bumpier texture, but the same look. See, here is the moss stitch. The original moss stitch here. I don't know if you could tell right there. And then here is the bumpy moss stitch. Okay, and then I also used a V stitch. I used a bean stitch, uh, double crochets, and then towards the bottom I have a row of uh, a couple rows of windows, and I finish it off with regular moss stitch. And then for the border um, on the bottom, I use my crab stitch. For the neckline, the same thing, crab stitch. The sides of the panels, I did the shell stitch. Um, I don't have the exact measurements, but I changed 160. And I have 72 rows, if I remember correctly. So, that's how that was con constructed. And for those of you who do know, do not know, I do not write patterns, I do not read patterns, I do not, uh, yeah, I do not do any of those things. So I am a freehand crocheter. Um, let's see what else. I am working on some things for some how-tos that were asked and I will do that because those t the, the things requested are kind of simple, but to sit down and I've tried to sit down and write a pattern. It's just not me. It takes the fun out of it. I like to pick up my hook and create something. So, and I never start with something in mind, really. Normally, I just pick up a hook and I start playing with the yarn, and then it'll just become something. So, unless I'm actually thinking of something specific, then I concentrate on that. Otherwise, yeah, I do. I'll have. A few skeins of yarn just sitting in front of me and I'll play with it look at the colors I'll pick up a hook and uh, I'll start doing something and at the end it'll be something <laughs> you know for instance one night I was sitting down watching TV and I started just crocheting and then I thought okay this could become a headband and that I was going to do that, but then by the end of the movie, it was a baby dress. <laughs> so that's how I roll. Um, so anyway, those are my finished items, happy mails, and purchases. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's it. I started watching this young lady. I forget her name, but her channel name, I believe, is The Grace tangled I think she's adorable she's 18 I love her <laughs> I've been enjoying her videos um, a lot so I will link that down below I I'll link anybody that I mentioned and hopefully I don't forget anybody my brain is going 100 miles a minute 
because I have a bunch of things I want to do. Um, and most of them are crochet. <laughs> Chores can wait. No, I want to make more of these. But I also think I'm going to make them shorter and not as long. This was a uh, two weight, I believe. A two weight. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. So I think the next one I will do will be 150 chains. And we'll see what what stitches I throw in there. And probably... Probably maybe 50 rows. I need to count and make sure that that's what I what I really have here. That way I can determine how many I want to remove. I like it. It's big and everything, but I don't want every single one to be this size. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what else I come up with. But I do like this, and I think I'm going to use some of the cakes I have. Um... And we'll see how that turns out. I do want to make some more tree skirts because I like to change up my tree. This year, my son picked the colorway and we're going to do a red Christmas theme. Uh, so, but we're using the green tree skirts so that not everything is red. I'm not a red person. The only time I like my red is when I see it on my beautiful red, white, and blue flag and Christmas time. <laughs> but, um... I'm green. I love my green. Anyway, so I do want to make a, a red green skirt, a silver one, because all my colors, when I switch them up, no matter what, I always have silver. So I will have silver and green, silver and red, silver and teal, you know, and then uh, sometimes I'll do the traditional colors and I won't use the silver for that. But anyway, yep, and uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think I, I did make some other items, but they are gone because my cousin was visiting here. Was it last week? The week before? I'm not sure. So I made <coughs> my niece to be um, a uh, infinity scarf in dark olive, and I used um, a video tutorial for that. It's just one simple stitch by Raquel, and I think her channel name is love for nails i will link that so you can see what it actually looks like i've made me some infinity scarves using that stitch i don't know what it is because she doesn't use terminologies <laughs> so <clears throat> but it's very squishy and i like it and i wanted it to do something quick um so that she can just take it when they left so so that is gone and I made a baby set, that's right. Booties, a blanket, and a hat and those went immediately. As soon as they were done, she came and picked them up because she was doing a, um, a diaper cake and she was including those items in there. So I didn't get a chance to, to take pictures. <laughs> so I know it was the chevron stitch for the baby blanket and I believe I just did half double crochets for the beanies. And then the booties, I got from Hectanuga One where you just make a square and you sew up one end, cinch the top, and that's it. Quick and easy. So that's what I did with that. And uh, that's it. That is it. I have some things working in the brain that I actually want to do. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. So, yeah, it was nice uh, hanging out, talking with you. So I hope you're having a good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're at, and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye!